They give you the proper understanding of what hell is. I tell you, Christian church is a crack house. Right. For our people. We is not learning nothing in here. What do they do in the Christian church? They go around, pass around a collection plate, right? Is that in the Bible? To do that? No. Tithes is in the Bible, but tithes is not money. That's the thing. The Christian church, they say, hey, pass the collection plate around, and they give 10% of your money, right? Watch this. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 22. Bring it up. Right? Thou shalt truly tithe all the increase of thy seed. Hold on. You should tithe the increase of your what? Of thy seed. That didn't say money, right? Hold on. Keep going. That the field bring it forth year by year. Oh, that the field bring forth year by year. I, do fields grow money? <laughs> right. That's your crops, right? So you should tithe your crops, good. And thou shalt eat. Before the Lord thy God, uh -huh. in the place which he shall choose mm -hmm. to place his name there. Go ahead. The tithe of thy corn. The tithe of your corn, not money. Go ahead. Of thy wine. Of your wine, not money. And of thy oil. And of your oil, not money. So where's, where's money in that? Right? Now Michael 3 and 11. This is what the pastors be doing in the Christian church. They don't teach you who you are. They give you a song and dance. Uh, they read one script and give you a two-hour sermon. They ain't teaching you nothing in the Bible, right? You heard on, on this on this corner right here. You heard as many scripts as you ever heard in one uh, uh, a day of service in a Christian church, a part of your whole life, right? Micah three and eleven. Micah chapter three verse eleven. Go ahead. The hands thereof judge for reward. What do the pastors do? Judge for reward. That's all the pastors doing. The Christian church is a guaranteed million dollar business that's yeah. what it is job yeah. Yeah. and they go to the theology school this is the thing about it you got to go to a theology school learn from europeans right to teach you their understanding of the bible but then the, 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 the so-called white man they never want you to know who you are according to the bible matter of fact let's read that let's read what god said at that psalm 83 the christian church never is supposed to it's always supposed to keep you dumbed down. That's why people walk around here not knowing who they are. They join gangs. They're in all different type of religions. Why? The uh, uh, the brothers, they're, they're, they're sleeping with the sisters, not marrying them. Right? The sisters. Yes. Yeah, we're reading it. Not about it. Yeah, that's, that's what we're reading. So, so what, what pastors, they, they skip over the Say that again. So what pastors, they skip over the skip. Yes, they do do that. Like go to uh, what's that? What's that? Um, uh, if a man rob God. Malachi three. Malachi three. Yeah, if a man rob God. Cause this is what they say in the Christian church when they pass the collection play around for the tithes, which we already established is corns and stuff. I think it's eight. Watch this. Three and eight. Watch this. Malachi chapter 3, verse 8. This is your true, this is your the true understanding of the Bible that you always supposed to be having, right? Go ahead. Will a man rob God? Or will a man rob God? Huh? You pass the collection plate around, played around, right? That's what they say. They go to the scripture, right? But this that's how they twist the scripture. But they never keep reading though. Read. Yet ye have robbed me. So they say you you rob God, but but ye say, wherein have we robbed thee? So they tell the people of the church, hi, they, they ask, how you rob God and what? In tithes and offerings. See, if you don't pay, if you don't give 10% of your money, that's how you rob God in your tithes and offerings. But what is tithes again? Crop, your crops, your corn, right? Go ahead. Yeah, keep reading. Ye are cursed with a curse, uh -huh. for ye have robbed me. Even this whole nation. Right. So that's how they, that's the scripture they use to confuse people in giving your money to them. Right? But keep reading though. Let's see what God is talking about. Read. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse. Oh, into the what? Into the storehouse. Bring all your crops, your wine, your oil, your, oil, your corn into the storehouse. Read. 
That there may be meat. That there may be money. That there may be meat. That there may be meat. Go ahead. In mine house. In mine house. Go ahead. And prove me now, herewith, saith the Lord of hosts. Go ahead. If I will not open your you the windows of heaven. You know what the windows of heaven? That's opening up the rain to come down like you see right now. Right? Go ahead. And pour you out a blessing. And pour you out a blessing. Because why, why is it a blessing? Wait, in order for your crops to go, what you need? You need water. So he opened the windows of heaven and let it rain on the crop so it can grow. Go ahead. That there shall not be room enough to receive it. Right. So you can have abundance of cr crops and stuff like that in the storehouse. Right. So that's the scripture they use. Will a man rob God? Right. So you can give 10% of your money, but tithes is not money. Right. It's your corner stuff that you're supposed to give to the Levites, the tribe of Levi, because they didn't have no inheritance of land. Christ was the lamb that sacrificed for the nation of Israel, not everybody, for the nation of Israel, for us to have repentance, so we no longer have to do the sacrifice no more. Watch this. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 1. Go ahead. For the law having a shadow of good things uh -huh. to come, Go ahead. and not the very image of the things, can never with those sacrifices, uh -huh. which they offered year by year. So we offered sacrifices for our sins year by year, right? Go ahead. Continually make the comers there unto perfect. It will never make us perfect. You want to know why? Because we were so hard-headed back then. What we did was, oh, shoot, I can go ahead. Uh, I can sleep with this sister. Okay. And then I could go on and offer an animal sacrifice, right? So they already had an evil thought in their head. I could just do this sin and go ahead and offer an animal sacrifice, right? Go ahead. For then would they not have ceased to be offered? Uh-huh. Because that the worshipers once purged should have had no more conscience of sin. Right. So go to verse 4. Verse 4. For it is not possible uh -huh. that the blood of bulls and of goats mm -hmm. should take away sins. So it's not possible that the, bull, the blood of bulls and goats, the killing of the animals for your sins, should take away sins no more, right? right. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he said, mm -hmm. Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not. He don't want that offerings and sacrifice. He never wanted that. Go right. ahead. But a body hast thou prepared thee. That body is Christ's body, right? Go ahead. In burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin, has had no pleasure. Right, he had never had pleasure in that. So all the uh, the laws pertaining to the sacrifices, which would be the tithes as well, that's no longer here no more. You understand that? So the Christian church, the pastors, they use certain scriptures and try to twist it to get their benefit out of it, right? But when you read the Bible, you can read it yourself and you're like, hold on, I don't see no money talking about no tithes. So how's our people getting duped and they're giving their money every Sunday. Right. Why? It's from slavery. Bring it up. So all so your question is, is all these philosophy people and everything like that, are they just following the world? Yeah. Let me show you something. Let me show you something about the wisdom of all these people, scientists, everything out here, and the understanding of how what God gave to the prophets. Watch this. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 26. Now watch this. You see how we're going to all the scriptures, giving you understanding, right? We have never been in a theology, theological school at all. Because did Christ go to a, a school to learn? Nah, right? Watch this. For you see your calling, brethren, uh -huh. how that not many wise men after the flesh. Uh -huh. So, not many wise men after the flesh, right? That's your philosophy, you your scientists, go ahead. Not many mighty. Not many mighty, like you got strong people like bodybuilders, athletes, stuff like that, right? Go ahead. Not many noble are called. That's your uh, uh, philosophy people, people who, you know, uh, make big executive decisions, stuff like that, read. But God have chosen the foolish things of the world. He had done what? But God have chosen the foolish things of the world. God got to show his power, right? So he chose the foolish things of the world. What's, what do people look at in the world and think that's foolish? They see that black man walking up the street with his pants sagging. God say, mm, you know what? I'm going to choose him to, to be wiser than all those other men. That's his power, right? But... 
But God have chosen the foolish things of the world. God chose that sister that, hate to say it, might be in a strips club, you know, don't have no care of her body, right? He might, you know what, I'm going to use her to help teach other sisters how to walk in my law, statutes, and commandments, right? right? Go ahead. To confound the wise. To do what? To confound the wise. Guess what? You even learning that your nationality is not black or African American, but you're an Israelite according to the Bible. That that is wiser than anybody else understanding in the whole entire planet. I guarantee you that. Right. Because all our people don't know that they're Israel, right? And why you think they went so hard? I don't know if you've seen it. Why you think they went so hard on Deshaun Jackson and Nick Cannon? They're like, oh no, we can't let these Negroes get that information out that they're the Israelites, that they're the real Jews, right? Yes, there's a lot of people like that. A lot of people are fearful of what may happen to them, right? Because of the truth coming out. Because they see, and that's why uh, Esau in the Bible, that's the name in the Bible, right? Esau. So a lot of times what they do is they see Nick Cannon, they see Deshaun Jackson speaking out and giving that information. And no, millions of people watch them, my people watch them, right? So they'll make them a public example to stop them to put fear in everybody else, right? So that's why a lot of people might not, you know, uh, buck up or say anything about it. Read that. Second Timothy chapter one, verse seven. Bring it out. For God have not given us the spirit of fear. So God didn't give us the spirit of fear. That's why you see us out here on the street corner teaching our people what they uh, persecuted Nick Cannon and Deshaun Jackson for, right? So go ahead. But of power. But of power. This is power. Choosing those foolish things of the world that actually teach his word, go ahead. And of love. And of love, go ahead, that's the commandments. And of a sound mind. And of a sound mind. A sound mind, you're gonna know how to operate yourself, right? Now, for that get Matthew 10, 16. Matthew 10 and uh, 16. Matthew chapter 10, verse 16. Because another thing with those entertainers, uh, people who are uh, high regard in our community, right? It's a certain way that they have to be because of the position they're in, right? So a lot of times, like their jobs might be on the line. It might affect their life if they get fired from a job or something, right? So they got to move in a certain type of way. Go ahead. Matthew chapter 10, verse 16. Go ahead. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. So we the Israelites, we are the sheep. And, and those uh, entertainers and stuff like that, they're in the midst of wolves because they're the ones that govern their money and everything, right? So they got to move a certain type of way, right? But ye therefore, be ye therefore wise as serpents. We gotta, they have to be wise as serpents. So a lot of times you might not see them speak out, right? But matter of fact, I tell you this, Deshaun Jackson spoke up, right? But Nick Cannon came in his defense, actually, and said, yeah, what Deshaun Jackson said was actually correct. We are the true Jews. We are the real Hebrews, the original people, this and that, right? So once that happened, which he actually did, spoke up, now they came after Nick Cannon. Now he apologized. Now he giving money to Jewish people, which are not the real Jews. You a real Jew, right? So, so <laughs> it's, it's a... I don't, you know what? I don't know. We don't, we don't know what happened behind the scenes, right? To cause him to uh, apologize. Same thing happened with Deshaun Jackson. They might just say, all right, hey, if you keep talking like that, might do something to your family, might do something to your wife, might do something to you. You don't know what's going on, right? So that's why a lot of times they might not speak up, right? But it's a way on how you do it, though. Go ahead, matter of fact, yeah. Yeah. Point. A lot of us, we pull up on the camp, right, and, and hear the brothers teaching, and came in after that, or received the fire, or watched the video, right, and that's what drew us in. Now we learning, get built up, and now we're able to be trusted to come out on the streets and actually teach, right. So it's a whole process, a whole organization going on that we're trying to get y'all to be a part of, right? Go ahead, read that, Matthew. Matthew chapter 24, 
Verse 7. Uh, so let's go back to what you were saying about, uh, kind of what you were saying just now about certain people going out there. Sometimes you might have to bite the bullet, right? Watch this. God got certain men to, to, to handle that. Read. For nation shall rise against nation, uh -huh. and kingdom against kingdom. Right. There shall be famines and pestilence, uh -huh. and earthquakes in diverse places. Uh -huh. All these are the beginning of sorrow. Uh -huh. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, right? So it says nation against nation, kingdoms against kingdoms, right? That's different wars amongst the nations, right? So that's Bible prophecy that's happening, right? It's going to come to fruition even more, right? So in the middle of that, what are we going to be doing? Teaching the Bible on the street corners like Christ commanded us to do, right? And he said, you should be what? Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. So when we're doing that, all the nations hate us when we do that. So when we do that, we're going to be delivered up, right? And shall kill you. And shall what? And shall kill you. Some of us are going to die for it. We're doing the same thing our forefathers did, going out by two by two, like Christ sent them out, right? And actually teaching the word. Paul, he got beat up for teaching the Bible, right? A lot of our forefathers got stoned to death. There's certain men that he got out on the street corners that's actually teaching the word and might get killed. But guess what? We understand the promises that's going to come with it. Man. So we ain't got no fearful hearts out here, right? right? Go ahead, that's it. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. We're going to be hated of all nations for his name's sake. You understand? Let's give you the true understanding of what hell is according to the Bible. Right. Isaiah 3, 3, 3 14. Bring it up. 14. Let's give you the proper understanding of what hell is. I'm telling you, Christian church is a crack house. Right. For our, for our people. We is not learning nothing in them. Right? Isaiah chapter 5, verse 14. Bring it up. 5 verse 13 Therefore my people are gone into captivity Now for you to understand that I want you to pay attention to certain words right Therefore my people are going into captivity What is captivity? Another word for it Jail, Jail. Uh, What's another word, another word For captivity people are in chains and stuff Slavery right Help y'all out slavery So therefore my people are going into slavery Remember that Go ahead. Because they have no knowledge because we didn't keep the law. And their honorable men are vanished. So, like, our leaders, supposedly leaders, they're lacking. Go ahead. And their multitude dried up with Go thirst. Go ahead. Therefore. Same thing. It's the first part, right? Therefore, my people going into slavery. Go ahead. Therefore, hell hath enlarged herself. Therefore, hell hath enlarged herself. So, what is hell? It said, therefore, in the first part, in fact, read the first top part again. Let's see y'all get it. Let's see y'all get it. Therefore, my people are going into captivity. Therefore, my people are going into slavery. Now, verse 14. Therefore, hell hath enlarged herself. Therefore, hell hath enlarged herself. So what is hell? Slavery. Are we in slavery? You work? A brute three and eight. Captivity is hell. Slavery is hell, right? That's what it said just now. Now I ask you, are we still in hell? Right? Let me ask you, are we still in hell? I mean, are we still in captivity, slavery? We are? So let's see what God said. Are we still in slavery? What is slavery? Read that. Baruch chapter 3, verse 8. Right? Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. We are yet this day in our slavery. We are yet this day in hell. Go ahead. Where, where thou hast scattered us. Where God scattered us, because we were scattered all over the world, right? right. For a reproach uh -huh. and a curse. And a curse, like the Deuteronomy 28, we was reading, the slave ships, the chains on our necks. Right. And to be subject to payments. To be what? And to be subject to payments. And you gotta pay your light bill? And you gotta pay your car bill? So we are subject to payments that show you that we still in slavery. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold, 
from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.